Good morning, AHS. I'm not Carol Roberts. Let's jump right in. Tonight, our Hornets basketball team is headed to the regional quarterfinals. AHS will face off against the Kilgore Bulldogs starting at 7.30 at TJC's Wagstaff Stadium. Don't forget to wish them luck before they head out this afternoon. Make us proud, boys. Next up, ever wonder how we do these announcements? With a look inside our, our audiovisual department, here is Katie and Tana. This year, the Arts and AV Productions program has really begun to take off. Starting with the home, Homecoming Hornet Countdown and now the weekly announcements, Ms. Whitley has really whipped this program into shape. During the football season, you all remember watching the Jumbotron as you, as you cheered on your Fighting Hornets. The commercials, replays, and animated advertisements were all made possible by Ms. Whitley and her broadcast team. The program has a state-of-the-art TV studio with a complete control room that Ms. Whitley is putting to great use, just like right now. Now let's hear some feedback from Ms. Whitley, members of the broadcast team, arts and AD students, about their experiences with this program. Uh, we have a really friendly environment. We work hard, but we have fun at the same time. I really enjoy the class. So I recommend it to anyone. She has a pretty mellow, calm environment. She's, uh, I mean, it ain't bad. I actually like it. I have, work, I have my own working space. I never show up with uh, time, I guess. I mean, it's kind of quiet. It just lets me work. It's a pretty relaxed teaching environment, I think. She kind of lets you do have your own inspiration. The broadcast team is a lot of fun. We get to record the football games on Friday. Um, the big jumbotron that you see out there, all the cameras that are recorded or that are used during um, the football game, we get to handle. Kids have one-on-one -on -one, um, time with the cameras and, and really learn how to be that camera person. They learn how to take care of the cameras, and how to be proactive and get the good shots and things like that. But they also get to be in a control room They'll play the commercials, pick which shots to show on the Jumbotron and things like that. Uh, we get to spend a lot of time together. Kids can work the TVCC games as well and get paid. Um, again, that's just the, the valuable work skills that they get to learn. Basically, we just um, uh, take the big cameras out to the field uh, in various locations and um, record the football game for the Jumbotron and for the records. We uh, videotape the football players, like all the plays that go on, halftime. Um, anything that happens on the field. I hope they take away valuable work skills. You know, I want them to come in here and gain confidence and um, be able to go out to the job course once they leave high school with some sort of um, skills and if confidence. I say that these are fun classes and you get to learn some pretty cool stuff. And especially if you like art, it's very interesting. It's fun. I mean, we work. We, yeah, we work hard, but we have tons of fun in there. You learn all the new kinds of stuff about technology. It's a great class. What was your favorite thing about being a teacher? Uh, my favorite thing is the students. Um, it's a lot of fun uh, to work with you guys and just get to know you and share what I know, and you also teach me every day. Wow, the arts and AV program seems like something everyone could benefit from. That's right, Tanner. Miss Whitley has truly dedicated herself to making this program all that it can be. Next year, don't forget to sign up for one of her awesome classes. You won't regret it. Keep up the great work, guys. Back to y'all. Thanks, ladies. In other news, want to try for the Stingerettes? Trials to be held March 17th to 21st. In order to try out, you and the parent must attend a mandatory meeting on March 6th at 6 p.m. Come pick up a packet in the front office at AHS or at this middle school. Also, the Stingerists are going to competition this weekend with three different routines. Be sure to wish the girls good luck. Now let's toss it to a quick commercial break. Take it away. Hey guys, there's a simple and easy way that you can help the band raise money. All you have to do is go to Brinson Ford on March 1st and test drive a new car. You gotta be 18 or older with a valid driver's license and $50 will be automatically donated to the bank. Just because you test drive a car, you got to tell them you're there for us. We could earn up to $6,000 for the Athens Pride of the Hornets band. Don't forget, go to Brinson Ford on March 1st. And we're back now with some sports news. The girls powerlifting team finished the qualifying season with a first place win. Seven total students qualified to move on to the regionals next weekend. CC Mamas. Wendy Pacheco, and Ingrid Castaneda came home with gold medals. Congrats, ladies. Also, Avery Weinstein competed at a state diving competition last weekend and finished at 12th place. Congrats, Avery. Thanks for representing AHS so well. 
We're so proud of all the work you put in. Thanks, guys. Have a great week, AHS, and go Hornets.